We are going to look at 7.9 counting characters for a little bit. Uh, we've counted uh, to find if there's an individual character in there. Uh, we've done that before. There's a two char array, which is very nice, right there. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's look at what a char array actually would look like. And uh, before we do that, we're gonna go. We're gonna look at our search right here. Now our current search method does an integer array and integer value. We don't need these print statements anymore because things were working. I'm going to delete those out of there. And I'm going to duplicate this whole thing, control shift down. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to make these into characters. And the good news is character arrays work a lot like uh, integer arrays. And you can compare characters with a double equal sign. Uh, so the search now works for character arrays. And it's just going to return the position of it. Uh, let's look at count. Uh, well, actually, first let's go. Let's modify this two string to make it work for character arrays. Control Shift down. So we're going to turn that into a character array. And good news is result was not not an int. Result was a string, and you can concatenate anything into strings. So this will all work out just fine, and we're returning a string. So two string didn't need heavy modifications. That one's working right there. All right, let's modify count. So count took an int uh, array, an integer value, and returned an integer count. So we're going to duplicate this. Just doing control shift down each time. So character array, character value. And everything's the same, and you might be thinking, well, shouldn't we return a char? Well, think about what count does. It searches through an array and tells you how many times you've seen a value. So how many times should still be an integer. So that's still going to be an int right there. So we'll close that up. So we made char, char, char. All right. Sum. We could re redo the sum function with a character array, but I don't really like to mess around with the character integer values, so I'm not going to duplicate sum. I don't really like to sum characters together. That's not great. Uh, now, this random array would be nice if we can make a random array of characters. So that would be public static char. Okay. So what's going to change? Hopefully, I've never actually used the random generator to generate a character. All right, so we cannot randomly generate a character. All right, so let's not bother with this. Uh, there are ways to randomly generate a character. I don't want to do them right now. Um, so let's not worry about that. We'll leave those two alone right there. All right, it will underline them in gray and tell you it's not used, which is totally fine. We don't need everything to be in use, uh, every program. All right, we can also duplicate in range uh, by putting in chars, everything at characters here. Uh, but we're not actually going to use that right now, so I'm not going to bother duplicating that one. Okay, so we just made things work for characters. What in the world are we doing? Oh yeah, we're going to look for uh, character counts. Okay. I actually like quite a bit of this code, so let's not get rid of it. I'm just going to comment it out, and then we'll do all of our code down below. We'll start with a string. Um, let's go strawberries. All right, strawberries are delicious. Uh, now we're going to go, let's count, so int count equals and t s comma count takes a char array and a char value all right so let's count the rs
Ah, so our first problem. Count doesn't take a string. All right, two char array. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert it to a character array. Uh, and then, let's go, uh, Okay, I'm trying to go too fast here. All right, so we're going to put our character array into count, and then let's sout. Uh, to string. Char array. So we'll print out the uh, character array. And. What are we looking for? R. All right. Why is this not happy? Oh, one more plus. All right, there we go. Oops, I hit debug. Not what I wanted. All right, there are three R's. One, two, three. I agree. There are three R's. All right, we can search for any other letter we want. Um, I don't always want to find R's. Let's look for S's. Probably should use the print F at this point. Right, there are one S's. All right, wait, there's not one S. There's one S there and there's one S here, but the problem is that S is uppercase S. So a few ways to fix it. Uh, you can do subtraction on characters, but I think that's a bit crazy. So what I'm gonna do, before we turn it into a character array, There's another uh, string method, so if I do s dot, it tells me all the string methods. So I'm going to type s dot to lowercase. There we go. So just to warn you, if you just do s dot lowercase, nothing's going to happen. And what you want is s equals s dot lowercase. So s dot lowercase returns a new string, and then it sets that new value to the variable s. And now, Start and end with a little S right there.